Reuters, Shalane Flanagan became the first American woman to win the New York City Marathon in 40 years when she claimed a dominant victory over Kenyan three times champion Mary Kaitani on Sunday. November 5, 2017, New York, New York, USA, Shalane Flanagan celebrates after winning the professional women's division at the 2017 TCS New York City Marathon. Mandatory credit, Derek Hamilton USA Today Sports. The men's title went to Kenyan Jeffrey Kamwaror, who held off countryman Wilson Kipsang. Flanagan, who had never won a major marathon, clocked two hours, 26 minutes 53 seconds for the stunning victory at the age of 36 in what could be her last competitive marathon. Kaitani struggled home in 2 hours 27 minutes and 54 seconds for second with Ethiopia's. Mamatu Daska third in 2 hours 28 minutes and 8 seconds. This is the moment I have dreamed of since I was a little girl, Flanagan said after the race, tears streaming down her face. It's been a tough week for New Yorkers and a tough week for our nation and I thought of what a better gift than to make Americans smile today, she said, referring to Tuesday's truck ramming attack that killed eight in what authorities described as a terrorist act. Thousands of police lined the course as part of heightened security because of the incident. So I was thinking of other people when it started to hurt, said Flanagan, the 2008 Olympic 10,000 meter silver medalist. American women had not won in New York since Mickey Gorman claimed her second consecutive title in 1977. Kaitani, winner of this year's London Marathon and the fastest ever in a women's only marathon, had been expected to run away with the race but a slow pace allowed Flanagan and others to stay with her early. When crunch time came it was Flanagan, not Kaitani, who dominated, impressively leading the final three miles. Jeffrey Kamwaroer of Kenya crosses the finish line to win. Reuters slash Brendan McDermott. Whether she runs another major marathon is likely to be decided in the coming days. She said after the race she would meet with her coach, Jerry Schumacher, to discuss her running future. I think I will sit with my coach tonight and I think we will have some decisions to make, Flanagan told a news conference. While Flanagan was an overwhelming winner, Cam Worrower was not assured of his first major victory until the closing meters. Slideshow, 26 images. After taking the lead in the 23rd mile, the 24-year-old 2015 New York runner-up had to contend with Kip Sang, whose final push brought him ever so close to his countrymen. But in the end it was Cam Worrower who won by 3 seconds in 2 hours 10 minutes and 53 seconds with Ethiopia's Lelisa Decisa third in 2 hours 11 minutes and 32 seconds. This is fantastic for me for this is my first victory in, a major, marathon, said Cam Worrower, who was running his fifth marathon. Former winner Meb Keflazai, who was running his final competitive marathon at age 42, finished 11th in 2 hours 15 minutes and 29 seconds, collapsing at the finish. Swiss athletes swept the wheelchair titles. Manuela Scheer stunned five times champion Tatiana McFadden in the women's race, defeating the American by almost 3 minutes in 1 colon 48.09. McFadden clocked 1 hour 51 minutes and 1 second and third went to compatriot Amanda McGrory in 1 colon 53.11. Repeat winner Marcel Hug gave Switzerland the men's title in equally dominant fashion, defending his championship in 1 hour 37 minutes and 21 seconds, more than two minutes ahead of British runner-up John Charles Smith. The title was Hug's third in New York City. Japan's show Watanabe took third in 1 hour 39 minutes and 51 seconds. Reporting by Jean Cherry in Salvo, North Carolina, editing by Pritha Sarkar. Our standards the Thomson Reuters Trust Principles.